Berlin, Germany. We are so excited to be filming a bunch of food videos here. Let's get food hunting for this one. Berlin, the capital of Germany, has a vibrant food culture. In this three-part series, we're hunting down the best local German food and eating where the locals eat. In this video, we're eating traditional German food at a butcher's shop and finishing the day at a beer garden. You don't want to miss this video. Get ready for some mouth-watering food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. Today is all about traditional food here in Berlin. And we've heard that butcher shops here often have a restaurant attached, so you can go and buy your fresh cuts of meat, but you can also buy a meal, and they serve some of the most traditional foods you'll find. So we're gonna go to this one right behind me here, so you can sit out on the footpath. They've got seats inside as well. And we're gonna get some really traditional German food today. about 10 or 15 uh, dishes on the menu at this butcher's shop and so we chose some real classics so I have got a humongous portion of Eisbein so Eisbein is um, pickled ham hock and it's served with some sauerkraut and also some, I think just boiled potatoes. There's a some sort of sauce on top of that and a huge splodge of mustard. And then we also ordered the bulette. So bulette is like a meatball and then it's come, it comes with a braised red cabbage, some potatoes and then a really thick brown gravy. These dishes weigh a ton. We couldn't help laughing when the lady was dishing up um, both of these mains because they were just ginormous. Well, they are just ginormous and they weigh a ton. They are so heavy. These plates are just piled up with food. All right, let's crack into this Eisbein. So this is the pickled ham hock and whoa whoa look at that i'm barely touching the meat and it is just falling away it is so tender holy moly all right let's get a a bite of that meat i'm just gonna swipe it through that mustard oh it's covered in that mustard let's just give it a taste mm. wow whoa it is so, so tender. It's not dry at all. The ham hock has been brined, so when you brine meat, it tenderizes it. And that is tender as anything. The mustard is quite mild, very creamy, but has a little bit of a um, tanginess that is beautiful with the meat. Let's just go again. I'm gonna get a, look at this. Gosh, it just, honestly, it just falls away from the bone so easily. All right, so more of that meat, and then I'm gonna grab some sauerkraut. So sauerkraut is a fermented cabbage, and I can see some fennel seeds in there. I think this sauerkraut has been warmed through. Mmm. Whoa. Oh, it's really, really good. The sauerkraut has a beautiful tanginess. It's really soft, really sort of melt in your mouth and it works perfectly with the meat, which is quite rich. So the pork is quite rich, a little bit fatty. That is beautiful. I've got this bullette, or this meatball to dive into. So as Shane said, got this meatball. It is swimming in a whole lot of very thick brown gravy. We've got the red cabbage, which is pickled, and that's slightly warmed, I'd say. And then we've got a big pile of boiled potatoes, so just straight up boiled potatoes. I see no butter or anything, just they are what they are. And this sort of food is what I wanted to be eating when we came to Germany. Really traditional, really classic food. It's really neat to be at this butcher shop as well. I've never seen a restaurant attached to a butcher shop like this. So this is just a real local, everyday butcher shop. Nothing special, nothing different, but then has the restaurant attached. It's a really neat idea. Let's cut into this meatball, and look how big it is. It's absolutely huge. Oh, look at that thick gravy pushing out the sides. All right, look at that. 
So it's a really fine um, mince meat in there. And I think this is a combination of meats. I can't be sure, but I think it's probably some beef, maybe some veal, and there could even be more different meats in there. So let's get some meatball. Oh, on the red, is that, it looks like there's some chilies in there as well to give it a little bit of a kick. So we'll get some red cabbage, some meatball, and it's covered in that thick brown gravy. Mm. Oh, yum. Oh, that is good. The meatball's not too strong in its flavor, but it's got a little bit of a smokiness where it's been grilled. And the, the tanginess, the vinegar from that pickled cabbage really comes through strong. And that works perfectly with the gravy, the really thick gravy, which I think is a beef gravy. Mm, has a real beef flavor, but it's really mixed with the sauce from the cabbage. So it's meaty, but it's really tangy from that, from that vinegar. That is really good. Let's get a bit more of this meatball. So you can see it's got like a, a really hard crust where it's been cooked. And it's, it's like it's been cooked in a lot of oil, so almost shallow fried, because the outside is quite crispy, and the inside is really soft. You can see that there. Let's get, oh, that potato. Look at that, covered in the gravy. And then the meatball soaked in that gravy too. Mm. Oh, that is good. This is comfort food. This is home cooking and what it feels like. It feels like real home style food. And the flavor is incredible. It's not too full on, a little bit salty, a little bit sweet from the, from the pickled cabbage. This is delicious. We couldn't not get a beer to go with these meals. So beer is huge in Germany. I mean, you see beer shops and beer being sold and consumed everywhere. So to go with this meal, we've got a Radler, which will be sort of a lagery type beer, and it should have a, a citrus flavor. Mm. Oh yeah, really citrusy. Oh, that's really good. That's actually perfect to go with these meals because the citrus flavor will cut through the, the heaviness of the meal, so that fatty element, especially Sheena's, I'd say, with that, that fatty, heavy pork. That is a very nice beer. All right, so I admit that this is uh, not the most beautiful looking dish, but holy moly, it is really tasty. So I've got a piece of that Eisbein, the sauerkraut, and then also some potato in this mouthful. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's delicious. We've got the really rich uh, meat, the tanginess from the sauerkraut, and then that floury potato. All the elements on the plate work really well together. It's a really balanced meal. You can really get a good sign of what I'm talking about with the mixing of the liquids there. So you can see all the vinegary, red gooiness from the from the cabbage mixing with that brown gravy. And the flavor that's creating is so, so good. Now something we haven't covered so far with these is the affordability. These are incredibly cheap, these meals. So they're, mine is five euros, and I think Shima's is six. So that's only six or seven US dollars for this huge plate of food. It is absolutely massive plate, piled high. I mean, Shima has an entire pork hock on her plate. So incredible value these places as well. And we hear that this one is even is phenomenal, it's beyond incredible value. It's even cheaper than you will normally find. And the crowds are really starting to build now as we get closer to lunchtime. And I know why, because the food is great, the atmosphere is great, and the value cannot be beaten. It's incredible. <laughs> we sure are full after that. That was really good. And it wasn't easy to find that sort of place. So a lot of the traditional food is actually being served at touristy restaurants. And we didn't want that. We wanted a real locals restaurant. And that was about as local as it gets. That was a really, really neat place to eat food like that. We're gonna carry on the, the traditional food thing now. We're gonna go to a beer garden. So a German beer garden and sample some of the local brews. After 
after that humongous meal, lounging in a beer garden seemed like the perfect idea. So we've come to Berlin's oldest beer garden. I think it's been around since the 1800s and it's apparently really massive. It seats 600 people. But if you come at 1.30 on a Wednesday, you don't really need to fight for a seat. So seat 600, there's about eight people here. So it's definitely not gonna be the best atmosphere, but it should be incredible beer. It's a really nice, hot, sunny day here in Berlin, so it's perfect to be sitting in this beer garden and drinking beer. So I ordered something which I've been really curious about, and that is a Berliner Weisse. So it's a cloudy, uh, sour beer uh, that's served with either raspberry syrup or a woodruff syrup. Woodruff is a plant, it sort of has an earthy, sweet flavor, but I went with a raspberry, and this is like a real Berlin in, um, drink. Uh, I think it's normally um, something that's drunk in more by tourists than by locals but I'm still curious to try it so when I saw it on the menu I had to order it. Alright, it's served in like this giant jar like glass. Mmm! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's quite sweet because of the raspberry cordial but then the sourness of the beer comes through, so it's sort of quite balanced. It's really refreshing. Pause. Pause. I have a Prater Pilsner. So this is a Pilsner beer. Uh, Prater is the name of this beer garden, so I assume this is their home-brewed Pilsner. It's very good, just very easy-going, great to drink on a hot day. Prost. 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 So that's cheers Prost. in German. Delicious mm -hmm. on a hot day. I really like this garden quiet like we said because it's 1 30 on a Wednesday mm -hmm. But this would be raging when it's packed with people But it's just a really nice place to sit even when it's quiet like this because it's very peaceful surrounded by trees It's just a really nice place for a beer. It was such a good lunch as well that we had. It was just really hearty Satisfying <laughs> it was tasty. seriously I don't hearty. think we'll need to eat for the next like <laughs> day. <laughs> it was a lot of food. <laughs> really good. Um, remember to hit that subscribe button. We've got heaps more food videos coming from Berlin. Uh, pop a comment down below. Say hi. We love to hear from you. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you want to support more of our content, check out our Patreon page. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.